Chapter 41 You are listening at NovelFull.audio 11 key fragments Mike turned around, and the long passage before him was already filled with statue monsters. The closest one to him was a level 30 monster, and the furthest one was a level 20 monster. If an ordinary player came here, the normal method of fighting would be to fight the level 20 monster first, then followed by level 21, 22, 23. Last would be the level 30 monster, which totaled up to 11 monsters. This was actually a very difficult challenge for players. Since the previous quest requirement that allowed no injuries was still applied. In other words, players had to take turns to fight these 11 monsters and they could not be attacked by the monsters throughout the process. Unless you could defeat them with overwhelming strength, this was a very big test for players' skills. Because these 11 monsters' attacking methods, characteristics, and skills may be different. Sometimes, there would even be unexpected situations. The players would need to deal with them perfectly every time, there was no room for trial and error. Moreover, a variety of skills may be required to deal with these monsters, and the players must prepare sufficient mana potions. If they were lacking, they may end up in an awkward position where they could not use their skills. However, these problems were non-existent to Mike. Mana Potions Mike had no need for them because he would not be using any skills at all. Skills Mike did not need them. He only needed to use the most direct and simple method to clear the level perfectly. As for the skills and attack methods of these monsters, that was even less important. From the appearance, it was clear that these monsters used physical attacks. Mike could block all of these attacks. At this moment, the statue monster closest to Mike had already walked in front of Mike. It was a minotaur who held a huge axe in its hand. It gave off a feeling of immense strength. The minotaur raised the huge axe in its hand high up. It let out a bellow and smashed the huge axe down heavily. If it was any other player that was facing such an attack, they would be very worried. This attack could probably directly kill the player. The difference of 10 levels was not a small challenge for any ordinary player. However, Mike raised his left hand casually. Ding! The huge axe smashed heavily on the tip of the sword, but only a soft sound was heard. Point two zero zero zero. This minotaur's HP suddenly dropped by a large chunk. At this moment, Mike was not wearing any protective equipment, so his defense was extremely low. Under such circumstances, the damage that the Minotaur could deal was very high. Therefore, after Mike's successful block, the recoil damage was equally high. From its appearance, this Minotaur's HP should be very high. If it was any other monster, it would have killed itself with just this attack. Other monsters had also swarmed over but Mike did not panic. He raised his hand and slashed at the Minotaur's body. 0. 0.600, looking at the damage, Mike frowned slightly. The damage was very low. He was already level 21, and he was fighting a level 30 monster, but he was still using a level 10 weapon. No wonder the damage was low. Looks like I have to think of a way to get a new weapon, Mike thought. As he recalled dungeons or parts of the map that were around level 20 and could produce a good weapon, he was also raising his hand to block the attacks of the surrounding monsters. Every time he blocked, Mike remained calm. However, the monsters would lose a large amount of HP because of the damage from the rebound. As the difference grew, the monsters soon fell one by one. Meanwhile, Mike kept receiving system notifications. Obtained key fragment 1 11. Obtained key fragment 2 11. Obtained key fragment 3 11. Soon, the last monster died. The entire tunnel was littered with monster corpses. Meanwhile, Mike's backpack was already filled with 11 key fragments. Obtained key fragment November 11, automatically synthesized. The next moment, a key appeared in Mike's backpack. Mike turned around and looked at the door behind him. There was a keyhole in the middle of the door. 
It was evident that he could only obtain this key by killing all the monsters in the passage. Then, he could proceed to the next level after he opened the door. Mike smiled, took the key out of his bag, and inserted it into the keyhole. Although the key looked rusty, the process of opening the lock was smooth. After a slight twist, the door began to tremble. Then, the door slowly sank into the ground. The inside of the room was apparent. A person was tied up in the middle of the room. There was a huge monster with four hands patrolling, seemingly guarding the prisoner. Mike frowned slightly when he saw this. Thought that was because the prisoner had an NPC ID on his head. Adjutant Welsh. He isn't Gilgamesh. Chapter 42 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The setting of the game was nothing in front of Mike after seeing the ID of the person in front of him, Mike frowned. He thought that the legend of the hero mission would end here, but who knew there would be a follow. Up. However, after some careful thinking, it seemed normal. If it was so easy to complete, it was impossible that no one could complete it once. The greater the difficulty, the more valuable the reward was. Mike's furrowed brows gradually relaxed as he began to observe the structure of the room. First of all, Welsh was tied up in the middle of the room and had no room for movement. Meanwhile, the four-dot-handed monster patrolled constantly, moving left and right. Looking at this, Mike felt that something was not right. If it was just fighting monsters, there was no need for the four-dot-handed monster to patrol as such. It just needed to stand in the room and kill whoever came in. There must be a reason for such a design. Mike began to carefully observe the room. Soon, he found that there was a treasure chest hidden on the far right side of the room. It was golden. All of a sudden, Mike became excited. There were many treasure chests in Second World, but from green onwards, the number of treasures was scarce. As for what could be obtained from the treasure, it was random. However, one thing was certain, the color of the treasure chest determined what value the treasure chest had. A golden treasure chest, even if one had bad luck, the rewards were definitely still much better than a purple treasure chest. Seeing this, Mike understood. No wonder this monster was patrolling left and right. In fact, this design was to let the players find an opportunity. When the monster walked to the leftmost side, players could open the treasure chest. Then, even if the monster noticed the players and rushed over to attack, there was still a certain distance between them. The player could successfully get the items in the treasure chest. After thinking this through, it was not surprising that the monster would patrol. However, Mike still walked directly in the direction of the monster. Open the treasure chest. Why not open it after killing the monster? Mike had just taken a few steps forward before the monster noticed Mike and immediately came over to him. From this, it could be seen that the monster's aggro range was very wide. If players wanted to get close to the box without being discovered by the monster, they needed to carefully control the aggro range. This was also a test for the players. In other words, the box was likely to contain an important tool to defeat the monster. All of these settings were very reasonable and lived up to the legend of the hero's name as the most difficult mission. Though for Mike, everything was simple. Ding! One of the four-dot-handed monsters raised a long knife and slashed at Mike, but he easily blocked it. Then, the other three hands took turns attacking Mike. Knife, key, axe, hammer. The four weapons attacked differently and had varied attack frequencies. If normal players wanted to dodge every attack and find an opening to counterattack, it would indeed be very difficult. Moreover, if normal players came here but had low attack power, it would be very difficult to fight. They might even need to fight for an hour or two. A long and intense battle would exhaust a lot of the players' mental strength, and they might end up making mistakes. One mistake could result in the failure of the legend of the hero. However, all of these difficulties were not worth mentioning in front of Mike. Simple. Other than simple, it was only simple. Because Mike did not have to do anything. 
he just needed to stand there and let the four-dot-handed monster attack him continuously. Mike did not even bother to take the initiative to attack. After all, his attack power was too low. The damage dealt was not even as high as the rebound damage, so he just let it be. After about three minutes, the monster used up its last bit of HP and fell to the ground. Previously, after defeating the statue monsters in the tunnel, Mike had already gained a lot of experience points. This time, the experience points was even more generous. Because of the large amount of experience points, Mike had directly reached level 23. After all, the four-dot-handed monster was only a quest monster. Although its strength was definitely at the boss level, it did not drop anything. Even though Welsh was tied to a pillar and could not move, he still witnessed the entire process. At this moment, he was stunned. Lord God Slayer, you actually killed this monster alone. The original design of this quest was to let the players find an opportunity to untie the NPC's ropes and let the NPC fight along with the players. However, Mike took care of it himself. Looking at the dumbfounded Welsh, Mike did not pay attention to him. Instead, he turned around and walked to the treasure chest on the right side of the room. Open the chest first. Crack crack. After a jolt, the chest opened. The items inside the chest shone with a golden light, turning Mike's face golden. Damn, this thing is too awesome. Chapter 43 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Legendary, Grade Golden Weapon, Umbrella of Meredith Looking at the item in the box, Mike's eyes were wide open. Umbrella of Meredith, Growth. Type Weapon, Quality. Legendary, Level. The same as the user's level, Attack. Increases with level, weight. 0.1 kilograms, special attribute. Could not be dropped, special effect. Could be transformed into any weapon at any time. This equipment was very valuable even if it was on the market. It was suitable for any class at all levels. However, its true value could only be displayed in Mike's hands. Because Mike was essentially the only person in the entire second world who could use all classes of weapons. Besides him, no one else would opt to not choose classes. After all, the active skills that could be learned after changing classes were too powerful. However, in Mike's eyes, those active skills never weighed more than a weak passive skill. Moreover, the Umbrella of Meredith had another characteristic. That was that changing to different weapons would add a different passive effect. Mike excitedly picked up the Umbrella of Meredith and immediately equipped it on his left hand. The attributes of the Umbrella of Meredith immediately changed. Umbrella of Meredith, Umbrella Form, Quality. Legendary, Level. 23, Attack. 180, Weight. 0.1 kg, Special Attribute. Could not be dropped, special effect. Power of the Moon, Bone of Meredith, Power of the Moon, God.Tier Passive Enhancement. Attack power increased to 1000% under the moonlight. Bone of Meredith, God.Tier Passive Enhancement. Every zero seconds, it could generate a magic shield to resist any spell damage and control effects. Seeing these two passive effects, Mike's heart pounded. Invincible. Finally, he was completely invincible. With rebound, he was completely immune to all physical attacks. Yet now with the umbrella of Meredith and the support of Bone of Meredith, he was also immune to all magic damage and control effects. He was truly invincible. Moreover, the effect of the power of the moon was also shocking. The original effect of Power of the Moon was to increase attack power by 100% under the moonlight, which was double the damage. However, after being buffed by the SSS.Grade Innate skill, the damage increased from double to 10 times. If the current Mike fought at night, it was possible for him to deal over 10,000 damage. What kind of concept was this? Among the bosses of the same level, no boss could withstand a normal attack from Mike. He was completely invincible. Mike took a deep breath and changed the form of the Umbrella of Meredith. 
Mike was once again shocked. Sword of Meredith, sword form, quality. Legendary, level. 23, attack. 180, weight. 0.1 kilograms, special attribute. Could not be dropped, special effect. Infinite Sword Shadow, Heart of Meredith, Infinite Sword Shadow, God. Tier Passive Enhancement. Each attack will trigger 10 slashes. Heart of Meredith, God. Tier Passive Enhancement. When faced with a stronger enemy, all latent power in the wielder's body would be activated. The stronger enemy mentioned actually referred to his level, not strength. If one were to calculate based on his strength, there probably would not be anyone in Second World who was stronger than Mike. With the blessing of the Heart of Meredith, every time Mike faced an enemy that was one level higher than him, all of Mike's attributes would be increased by 100%. The original effect might only be 10%, but it was already a very powerful skill. On the other hand, in Mike's hands, it became a very bug-like ability. In other words, if Mike fought a level 123 player with his current level of 23, then Mike's attributes would increase by 100 times. It was predicted that one attack could end the battle. Even if one slash could not end the battle, Mike still had the infinite sword shadow skill. Each attack would trigger 10 slashes. In other words, one slash from Mike would hit the enemy 11 times. Looking at the umbrella of Meredith in his hand, Mike felt a wave of emotion in his heart. As expected of a golden legendary quality weapon. This weapon can achieve a qualitative leap in quality regardless of the player. It was not an exaggeration to say that if Mike chose to sell this umbrella of Meredith now, he would not have to worry about money for the rest of his life. It was priceless. Some of the richest people would be willing to spend tens of billions to buy this weapon from Mike. Moreover, even if others intended to kill Mike so that the weapon would be dropped, it would be useless. Not to mention that Mike could not die at all. Even if Mike really died, this umbrella of Meredith also had the special attribute of non-dot-dropping. Therefore, as long as Mike had no intention to sell the umbrella of Meredith, then no one could take it away. At this moment, Mike was even a little hesitant to continue the legend of the hero mission. After all, he was already invincible. However, after some thought. This was only the first round of the legend of the hero mission, and it already gave such a good reward. If he really completed this quest, wouldn't the reward be so strong that it could destroy the world? The more he thought about it, the more excited Mike became. He was now curious as to how powerful he could be. After he calmed himself down, Mike remembered that Adjutant Welsh was still tied to the pillar. Lord God Slayer, could you please save me first? Chapter 44 You are listening at NovelFull.audio The legend of the hero was completed. Ah, so you're still here. Mike looked at Adjutant Welsh in surprise. Adjutant Welsh was speechless. Sir, I'm tied up here. Where else can I go? However, out of respect for God Slayer, he was too embarrassed to say it out loud. Mike walked over and untied Adjutant Welsh. The NPC moved his wrist and said, Lord God Slayer, the King of Heroes is in trouble. He looked very anxious. However, Mike raised his eyebrows and asked in a relaxed tone, What trouble? Just say it. Ah. Uh. The King of Heroes is now trapped in the Dark Castle. Are you willing to save him? Of course, Mike was willing. Adjutant Welsh immediately flattered Mike and said a lot of nice words. Finally, Adjutant Welsh waved his hand and a light door appeared in front of the two of them. Adjutant Welsh directly walked into the light door. Mike did not think too much and followed him in. In the next second, the two of them appeared in Hero City. The current Hero City was completely different from before. Everyone in the city had smiles on their faces. The dark clouds that covered the city had also disappeared. At this moment, a small portion of the players had already arrived at Hero City. When they saw the sudden change in Hero City, everyone was shocked what happened. 
wasn't this place covered in dark clouds just now? What the hell? Just now, the NPC in front of me was frowning, but he suddenly smiled like he was possessed by a ghost. Could it be that there's a bug in Second World? That shouldn't be. What the hell, what the hell? Not many people could think that this was because the first stage of the Legend of the Hero quest had been completed. However, there were still people who noticed that something was wrong. At this moment, a few new players who were preparing to attempt the Legend of the Hero in front of the Hall of Heroes were shocked. What's going on? Why can't we accept the quest? When did this adjutant Welsh get here? I recalled that there was no one around just now. This is too weird. What happened? Could it be that someone has completed the legend of the hero, a player suddenly blurted this, and the entrance of the hall of heroes fell silent. The dark clouds in Hero City suddenly disappeared, and the NPCs in the city no longer looked sad. An NPC that they had never seen before suddenly appeared. In addition, the most important point was, the legend of the hero quest could not be accepted. All these signs pointed to one conclusion. That was, the legend of the hero seemed to have actually been completed. In this era, news spread rapidly. If this news was an explosive news, it would spread even faster. In less than half an hour, the entire new region knew about this news. The legend of the hero mission had been completed. Another hour passed. Even the big region heard about this news. At first, everyone did not believe this news. After all, this was not a normal mission, but the legend of the hero. A mission that no one had been able to complete since the appearance of Second World, how could it be completed by a player on the first day of the new region? However, when they saw the video on the forum, everyone believed it. That was because the hero city in the screen was indeed something they had never seen before. The weather was extremely clear, and every NPC had a smile on their face. If it was not for the fact that the building on the screen obviously belonged to Hero City, no one would be able to connect the city to Hero City. After accepting this fact, new questions naturally appeared. Who completed the legend of the hero? What was the reward of the legend of the hero? Because no one had completed it before, no one knew that the legend of the hero was actually a chain of quests. Everyone thought that the person who had completed the quest had already received the Legend of the Hero reward. Just as everyone was making all sorts of guesses. The key person in this matter, Mike, had long gone offline. Regarding the matter of increasing his strength, he naturally had motivation. After all, he was someone who had transmigrated back from the future. He was very clear that Second World would merge with the real world in the future. If he died at that time, it would be an actual death. Therefore, he was not at ease. However, even if he had motivation, he still had to pay attention to rest. After all, it was already nighttime, so he immediately chose to go log off. Moreover, he did not want to talk to Adjutant Welsh in front of others. This might expose the secret that he had completed the legend of the hero. That was unnecessary. However, before Mike went offline, a player Mike and Adjutant Welsh appeared together. Even though Mike went offline at the speed of light after walking out of the light door, which prevented the player from clearly discerning Mike's ID. Regardless, that person still guessed it. This guy must be the expert who completed the legend of the hero. Chapter 45 You are listening at NovelFull.audio The God Slayer you mentioned is me in the room, Mike opened his eyes and exited the second world. Looking at this familiar environment, Mike felt moved. He was still himself, his home was still his home, and the world was still the same world. However, his life had already undergone an earth-shattering change. Who would have thought that he could be reborn and activate his SSS.grade talent? From inconspicuous dirt, he had suddenly become the famous god slayer in the new region. Mike smiled. Life was truly amazing. Ding dong. At this moment, his phone suddenly lit up and a notification sounded. Mike picked up his phone and took a look. It was his good friend, Little Fat Tom. 
At this time, Tom sent a message to Mike. Good brother, do you want to come out for dinner? Mike smiled. He knew that his good friend was worried about him. Tom was worried that Mike would be depressed because he had activated AD.grade talent. Mike quickly replied with a message. Okay, where are you? As soon as this message was sent, there was a knock on the door. The smile on Mike's face became even wider. With such a good brother, he would have no regrets in this life. As soon as he opened the door, little fat Tom said, Brother, you don't have to be too depressed. Let's go together, at this point, Tom was speechless. Because he could clearly see that not only was there not a trace of depression on Mike's face, but instead he looked as if he was, very happy. Tom's heart skipped a beat. Could it be that Mike was unable to handle the shock and had gone insane? He nervously looked Mike up and down, not saying a word. Mike smiled faintly and pulled Tom out of the door. Soon, the two of them arrived at a restaurant that they often visited. Tom's family background was decent, so they often invited Mike here to eat. Because the two of them were very close, they did not care about the money. After sitting down, Tom asked, R, are you okay? Along the way, he did not dare to ask. He had been carefully observing Mike. However, he found that Mike did not seem to have a mental problem, so he finally opened his mouth. Mike raised his eyebrows and asked, why am I not okay? Nothing, nothing. Tom waved his hand repeatedly and asked tentatively, then did you log into the game today? Many people who drew low dot level talents would be depressed for a day or two, feeling that they had no hope in life, so they would not want to log into the game. This was a very common thing, and it happened every year. According to Tom's imagination, Mike should have been lying in his room for the whole day. Tom did not come to disturb Mike during the day and only came at night because of this reason. He thought that Mike did not log into the game, but unexpectedly, Mike said, I'm logged in. It's developing quite well. How about you? Tom was not expecting this reaction. Seeing that his good friend was fine, Tom was finally happy and immediately became a chatterbox. Oh, don't mention it. I've died several times today. Second world is too difficult. But this game is really fun. It's just as our teacher said. It's very realistic. I also saw a female NPC changing her clothes in a residential area today. How exciting. When Mike heard this, he was slightly stunned. Because he remembered that in his previous life, Tom had chosen the dwarves. Well. What race did you choose? Mike asked experimentally. The dwarves. Tom stuffed a French fry into his mouth and answered naturally. The corner of Mike's eyes twitched twice. This good friend of his, his taste was too strong. He even watched the dwarves change their clothes. All right, let's not talk about me anymore. Let's talk about you. How was your harvest today? Seeing that his friend seemed to be in a good mood, Tom concluded that Mike should be doing quite well in the game. Who knew that Mike would say something that made no sense? Well, the harvest was quite good. I obtained a golden legendary quality weapon. Mike said indifferently while drinking his cola. Tom squinted his small eyes at Mike and teased, Good brother, this is your fault. I treated you as a good brother, and you actually lied to me. Obviously, he did not believe Mike's words. Mike smiled slightly and said nothing. No one would believe such words, it was very normal. Moreover, in Tom's eyes, Mike had activated AD.grade talent. How could AD.grade talent obtain a golden weapon so easily? Hearing no response from Mike, Tom changed the topic and said, Oh right, have you heard? There is a student from our batch who seems to have activated an incredible talent. Mike raised his eyebrows and asked, Who is it? Tom looked around, inched his body in front of Mike, and said in a low voice, God Slayer. Hearing this, Mike's expression became strange. The God Slayer you are talking about is me. This sentence was an explosive piece of news, 
but it came out of Mike's mouth with incomparable tranquility. Little Fat Tom's eyes went wide. Chapter 46 You are listening at NovelFull.audio The greatest sword hero in the world, you, you're lying to me again. Little Fat Tom obviously did not believe him. Mike shrugged and remained silent. What he said was the truth. What could he do if others refused to believe him? The two chatted for a while, and Mike suddenly asked, By the way, is there any mission in Terra City of the Dwarves that can obtain passive skills? Passive skills. Tom was stunned for a moment before he reacted. I remember now. Your talent is related to passive skills, right? I've never noticed passive skills before. I'll help you keep an eye out for them. When they were in school, the talent that Mike had activated was indeed related to passive skills. However, everyone thought that Mike activated the D.Grade talent, which was slight passive enhancement. In reality, Mike had activated an SSS.Grade talent, God.Tier passive enhancement. Although Tom had misunderstood this matter again, Mike did not explain anything, as long as it did not affect him. After Tom agreed to keep an eye out for Mike, the two of them parted ways and agreed to meet after level 40. If players wanted to leave the territory of their own race, they had to be above level 40, so the two of them were not in a hurry to meet. By the way, Tom was already level 16, and Mike was already level 23. Of course, Tom still did not believe him. He went home and rested for the night. Early the next morning, Mike logged into Second World. He had gained so much yesterday, today he had to. Master. Mike was slightly stunned. Who's talking? He looked back and forth and found a swordsman player with dark circles around his eyes, he was the world's greatest sword hero. Mike looked at him up and down. There was not a single piece of green equipment on him. Some parts of his body were not even equipped. It was fair to say that he was in an extremely miserable state. Such a down-and-out appearance coupled with his ID was indeed a strange feeling. Mike pointed at himself and asked, Did you call me just now? The world's greatest sword hero nodded and looked at Mike with anticipation. He had seen with his own eyes yesterday that a person had walked out of the light door with adjutant Welsh. Following that, all sorts of strange things happened. The dark clouds in the sky of Hero City disappeared, and the people in the city smiled. According to his guess, these changes must be related to the person who walked out of the light door. Although Mike chose to go offline immediately after he came out, the world's greatest sword hero did not see Mike's face and ID clearly. However, he chose the most effective yet dumbest method. That was to wait here. In Second World, wherever the player logged off, the players would appear at the previous log.off point. In other words, as long as the world's greatest sword hero had enough perseverance, he would definitely be able to see the person. Moreover now, he had finally succeeded. The world's greatest sword hero could not help but admire himself in his heart. He was indeed too sincere. He believed that his sincerity would definitely move his master. However, in the next second, he was dumbfounded. Because Mike directly turned around and left. He did not say a word. Master, master, where are you going? The world's greatest sword hero hurriedly followed. Mike continued to walk forward and said without turning his head, I'm not your master, don't follow me. However, this sentence was useless. The annoying fly behind him directly ignored this sentence and kept circling around him, chattering non-stop. Master, you must have completed the legend of the hero, right? You're simply too amazing. Master, can I also become an expert like you? Master, please teach me a few moves. Master, I will definitely not let you down. Mike walked all the way from the Hall of Heroes to the Hero City's south gate and was silent throughout the journey. However, the world's greatest sword hero had no intention of giving up at all. He was very persistent. One had to say that this person was really very annoying. Mike stopped in his tracks and stood where he was. He sighed and said, 
I just want to ask you a question. Hearing Mike's words, the world's greatest sword hero hurriedly stood beside Mike and nodded with a serious and expectant look on his face, indicated a green light for his master to start asking him questions. Mike looked into his eyes and asked word by word, why should I be your master? Once these words were out, the world's greatest sword hero blinked his eyes. He seemed to never have thought about this question, so he did not know how to answer momentarily. He held it in for a long time, scratched his hair, and finally came up with a not dot so dot good answer. Because I want to be as good as you. Mike shook his head and left directly. Your reason is not enough to move me. Goodbye. After taking a few steps, he heard the world's greatest sword hero shout behind him. As long as you are willing to be my master, I will do anything you want. Hearing this, Mike finally turned his head. The world's greatest sword hero saw Mike turn his head, and his face was filled with excitement. Mike, on the other hand, smiled and said, you will do whatever I ask you to do. All right. In that case, you can help me block the killers around me. Chapter 47 You are listening at NovelFull.audio This disciple is a fool, right? Hearing Mike's words, the world's greatest sword hero was slightly stunned, obviously unable to react. Meanwhile, Cold Shot, who was hiding in the corner, was startled. How on earth am I discovered? This is impossible. The previous assassination attempt on God Slayer had failed, but it did not mean that he would give up. After all, the price offered by the employer was too high. So this time, he changed his tactics. Because he discovered a problem. The God Slayer seemed to have a skill that could block physical attacks. Since that was the case, he spent a sum of money to hire 15 mages to help him assassinate the God Slayer. This time, he would definitely succeed. At first, Cold Shot had received a message from the informant arranged in the city, saying that the God Slayer had gone to the South Gate. He immediately brought his men to ambush them. The moment he saw the God Slayer appear, Cold Shot was overjoyed. That was because the God Slayer was not wearing any equipment. This way, their chances of assassinating him would increase by another point. However, now, they had been discovered. Cold Shot's face immediately turned ugly. Since he could not assassinate them, he could only fight them head dot on. Anyway, he had fifteen mages with him, so he was not afraid of him at all. After Cold Shot cheered himself up, he jumped out and laughed arrogantly. Ha 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 ha, God Slayer, today is the day you die. Brothers, kill him. Mike did not say anything. He silently took out the umbrella of Meredith. With this weapon, he was immune to all magic damage. Easy. After he took out the umbrella of Meredith, he turned his head to look at the world's greatest sword hero. After all, there were more than a dozen people on the enemy side. This idiot should know when to retreat. Who knew? Damn it. If you want to touch my master, over my dead body. The world's greatest sword hero did not hesitate at all. He directly rushed forward with a level 5 white longsword in his hand. Seeing this scene, Mike was speechless. Is this kid really a fool? Isn't he afraid of death? His roar had indeed attracted Cold Shot's attention. Cold Shot raised his head and glanced at him. He disdainfully raised his hand and fired two shots. What kind of trash dares to interfere with my work? These two shots hit the world's greatest sword hero without any suspense and killed him on the spot. When Mike saw this scene, he was even more speechless. This kid is a fool. Did he not plan to dodge at all? After the world's greatest sword hero's corpse turned into a white light, Cold Shot seemed to have regained a trace of confidence. He looked at Mike and sneered, Kid, I know you are very strong, but this time you must die here. As soon as he finished speaking, a roar came from the city gate of Hero City. Let go of my master, come at me if you have the ability. Mike and Cold Shot looked over at the same time. It was actually that fool from before. He rushed over immediately after resurrecting. 
This time, Cold Shot said nothing and immediately fired two shots. The world's greatest sword hero died again. And this time, even his weapon dropped. However, because it was a white level 5 weapon, it was invaluable. No one was willing to pick it up. Cold Shot sneered and said, the world is finally peaceful. Brothers, get ready, before he could finish his words, the world's greatest sword hero charged out again. Don't touch my master. Mike, Cold Shot. This kid had died twice in a row. He had already decreased by one level and was now level 11. Moreover, he had lost all his weapons. Now, he was completely unarmed. He actually ran over here in that form. This kid was a true idiot. Cold Shot seemed to be a little annoyed. He directly used a skilled headshot and killed the world's greatest sword hero with one shot. Without a doubt, the world's greatest sword hero died once again. Mike's heart did not waver. Anyway, he was not related to this fool. If he died, so be it. It had nothing to do with him. Though in the next second, Cold Shot's death. Seeking words angered him. I don't think you're that great, kid. I've killed your disciple several times, but you're still indifferent. Are you afraid? Hearing this, Mike narrowed his eyes and looked at Cold Shot coldly. You said. I'm afraid. Cold Shot was originally a little arrogant, but after being looked at by Mike, he actually trembled. He suddenly remembered the scene where he led more than a dozen people to besiege Mike and was easily killed. Dot after all, the other party was the God Slayer. However, he had already come this far, and there was no turning back. With so many subordinates watching, he definitely could not back down. Cold Shot gritted his teeth and roared, If you're not afraid, why did you let your disciple die in vain and not fight back? At this moment, the world's greatest sword hero had resurrected and once again arrived at the scene. He heard Cold Shot's words. In the next second, his eyes widened. I'm sorry, you seem to have misunderstood something. Mike held the umbrella of Meredith in his left hand and slowly walked forward. When did I say that I won't be fighting back? Chapter 48 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The powerful gun of Meredith seeing the God Slayer approaching, Cold Shot panicked. He hurriedly took two steps back and shouted, Quick, kill him, his weakness is magic attack. After receiving the order from the boss, the fifteen mages immediately began to move. Countless spells were shot at Mike. However, an unbelievable scene soon appeared. Mike calmly opened the umbrella of Meredith in his hand and waved it. All the magic attacks were blocked by the golden umbrella. Fifteen magic attacks, total damage, zero. Cold Shot widened his eyes and swallowed his saliva. What, what's going on? Why? Why isn't this guy afraid of magic attacks? Is he a monster? At this moment, Mike turned around and saw the world's greatest sword hero standing outside the city gate and was staring at him in astonishment. He smiled and waved. Disciple, come here. Let me show you how you should battle. The world's greatest sword hero replied with an, oh, and took two steps in Mike's direction. Then, he suddenly realized what was going on. He pointed at himself and asked in disbelief, Did you just call me disciple? Mike nodded with a smile. The world's greatest sword hero widened his eyes in excitement and suddenly cheered, Yay! That's great! I finally succeeded in becoming a disciple. That's great, that's great! The next second, he suddenly fell flat on the ground and his body suddenly disappeared. Mike was stunned for a moment when he saw this scene. Then, he immediately understood. This kid pulled an all-dot nighter just to camp him. His mental state was already very bad. Now, he got excited, so he was forced to disconnect and return to the real world. Forget it. Although this kid disappeared, Mike could just leave and pretend that none of this happened. However, since he had already agreed to take him as a disciple, then Mike would naturally fulfill his promise. He did not like to go back on his words. 
The most important reason was that this silly kid had successfully moved Mike. Mike had not seen such a silly person for a long time. Just for one sentence, he could send himself to death again and again. Even though he had already dropped his level and even his weapon had exploded, he still chose to continue sending himself to death. This kind of fool, was sometimes quite cute. Thinking of this, Mike smiled and looked at Cold Shot. All right, I've settled my matters. Now it's time to settle your matters. Mike sneered and raised the umbrella of Meredith in his hand. Change form. Gun of Meredith, spear form, quality. Legendary, level. 23, attack. 180, weight. 0.1 kilograms, special attributes. Could not be dropped, special effects. Rapid reload, ultimate combo, rapid reload, god.tier passive enhancement. Ammo capacity increased to 1000%, reload speed reduced to 0 seconds. Ultimate combo, god.tier passive enhancement. Every attack triggers 10 shots. The original effects of these two skills were already powerful enough. One was to increase the ammunition capacity to 200% and reduce the loading speed by 50%. The other was to trigger two shots per attack. The effects were heaven.defying. However, with the blessing of his SSS.grade talent, the gun in Mike's hands had completely turned into a Gatling gun with unlimited bullets. It did not need to be reloaded at all. Bullets fired endlessly, and one bullet could cause the damage of ten bullets. Be Noel de M invincible. Mike raised the gun of Meredith in his hand and revealed a sinister smile. Were your previous attacks actually considered as attacks? Now I'll show you what is called an attack. The next second, the muzzle of the gun shot out flames, and the bullets mercilessly poured onto the bodies of the sixteen assassins. Each shot dealt tons of damage, instantly killing them. However, Cold Shot could not figure it out until he died. Why is God Slayer immune to magic damage this time? Why did the strange umbrella weapon in his hand suddenly turn into a gun? Why is this guy so powerful? With many questions, Cold Shot and the fifteen mages he brought all turned into white light and disappeared. Only weapons and equipment were left on the ground. Mike raised his hand and blew at the smoke coming from the muzzle of his gun. Then, he picked up all the equipment. Although he no longer cared about this equipment, the pieces of level 10 equipment could be given to the world's greatest sword hero. Since he had agreed to take him as a disciple, he would definitely take care of him. Otherwise, as his master, it would be too unreasonable. After collecting all the equipment, Mike left Hero City. He planned to go to a good place to level up. The Tower of Challenges Chapter 49 You are listening at NovelFull.audio The strongest player in the new region, strongest left fist the Tower of Challenges was located to the south of Hero City. It was a special place. Because the Tower of Challenges had no level requirement, anyone could enter, but only one person could enter. If you entered at level 20, the tower would have a level 20 monster. If you entered at level 30, the tower would have a level 30 monster. It might seem like a suitable place for everyone to level up, but that was not the case. This was because the Tower of Challenges had a very difficult part. Players were not allowed to use their own potions. With this, players had to be extra careful when entering the Tower of Challenges. If they did not have the skills to recover their HP and mana, they would not go far. They might as well go to other leveling grounds. Hence, in everyone's eyes, the Tower of Challenges was only suitable for two types of players. One type was an expert with very good skills. Someone that could complete each level's challenge while suffering as little damage as possible, thus obtaining very high rewards. The other type was a player with a special recovery skill. They could use their own skills to recover their HP and mana. In a map like the Tower of Challenges, which restricted potion usage, they would still be at an advantage. However, no one had expected the third type of person who was also suited to go to the Tower of Challenges. 
That was, invincible players. Although it was very strange, there were indeed such players in the world, such as Mike. Mike arrived at the Tower of Challenges with ease. He had tried it once but failed on the fifth floor. The reward was pitifully small, he would have been better off fighting ordinary monsters to level up. From then on, he never came to the Tower of Challenges again. However, in this life, he wanted to try and find out how many floors there were in the Tower of Challenges. In his previous life's memory, the highest record of the Tower of Challenges was the 58th floor. The player's ID was Raven of Hell, and he was an expert. When he came to the Tower of Challenges, Mike looked at the tower that pierced through the clouds and was unable to see the top of the tower. He sighed with emotion. After repeating his life, he did not expect to come to this place again. This time, he wanted to break the record set by Raven of Hell and create a record that no one could break. Thinking of this, Mike was about to lift his foot and enter. However, he heard a voice beside him. Eh, are you God Slayer? Mike was slightly stunned. He turned his head and saw a bald martial artist player. His ID was strongest left fist. When he saw this player, Mike revealed a surprised look. Because Mike knew who strongest left fist was. In his previous life, Strongest Left Fist was the number one player in this batch of players. In other words, he was the most powerful player this year. Not only was Strongest Left Fist a popular player in the new region back then, which was this year, he was also a popular player when he entered the big server the following year and was fought over by various large guilds. In the end, he was signed by Myth Guild with an annual salary of 5 million and became the right dot hand man of Myth's guild leader, Moon Picking. It could be said that he had soared to the sky with a single step. Such a high and mighty figure was not someone that Mike could come into contact with in his previous life. Though in this life, the other party actually took the initiative to come over and greet him. This feeling was very strange. Mike pulled back his thoughts and nodded, it's me. Strongest left fist looked Mike up and down for a while and said in puzzlement, I've heard a lot of things about you, and I know that you're very strong, but I have a question, strongest left fist touched his bald head and asked with a completely incomprehensible expression, why don't you, wear any equipment? Mike smiled slightly and said, because I don't need any equipment. This sentence could be said to have completely shocked strongest left fist. In his eyes, he was already arrogant to the extreme and had completely disregarded everyone else. He did not expect God Slayer to be even more arrogant than him. At this time, Strongest Left Fist saw the golden weapon in Mike's hand and understood. Looks like your confidence comes from this weapon. Mike waved the umbrella of Meredith in his hand and smiled. You want to snatch it? Strongest Left Fist shook his head. Snatching other people's weapons is not my style, but I do want to compete with you and see who is better. Mike was not surprised by Strongest Left Fist's words. Because in his memories of his previous life, Strongest Left Fist was such a person. He liked to challenge all kinds of experts and prove himself by defeating them. Mike smiled and looked at the Tower of Challenges, in that case, why don't we compete to see who can reach the higher level? Strongest Left Fist smiled. Sure. The two of them walked into the Tower of Challenges at the same time. After entering, they saw three goblins. This was the first level of the Tower of Challenges. Many players were confused by the weak monsters on this level and mistaken the Tower of Challenges for being easy. However, when they reached the fifth level, they would understand how difficult the Tower of Challenges was. Mike raised his hand and changed the umbrella of Meredith into its gun form. He raised his hand and fired a series of shots, instantly killing all three monsters. On the other side, the strongest left fist had also instantly killed the three goblins on the first level and entered the second level. The competition between the two new region masters had officially begun. Chapter 50 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Tower of Challenges. Instant Kill. The Tower of Challenges, Second Floor. Strongest left fist stood on one side of the tower. 
In front of him were three minotaurs holding giant axes. They had a classic monster appearance. Facing these three monsters, who were also level 20, strongest left fist did not hesitate at all and directly rushed forward. The minotaur at the front noticed strongest left fist. After roaring angrily, it suddenly bent down and used its horn to face the intruder in front of it. Then, it rushed over. It was very fast, but strongest left fist just dodged to the side and easily avoided the collision attack. In the next instant, he jumped on the spot. The moment his feet left the ground, the giant axe in the minotaur's hand smashed heavily onto the ground. This attack created a shockwave. If strongest left fist did not jump, he would have been knocked unconscious by the shockwave. Although the damage from the shockwave was not high, being stunned in such a place was very dangerous. The three minotaurs might stun him one after another and then kill him directly. The moment strongest left fist jumped, not only did he avoid the shockwave, but he also flipped in the air. The heel of his left foot landed heavily on the head of the minotaur. This hit directly took a large chunk of Minotaur's health. He immediately followed up with a follow-up attack. He raised both his fists and continuously attacked the Minotaur's body. It was different from ordinary martial artists. Other martial artists all had their left fist in front and their right fist in the back. They were commonly known as light and heavy fists. However, Strongest left fist had his left fist in the back and his right fist in the front. Because he was left dot handed. The storm. Like attacks landed on the minotaur's body. Moreover, every time the minotaur's body emitted a red light, strongest left fist would immediately retract his fist and take a few steps back to dodge the minotaur's attacks. Just like that, he circled between the three monsters steadily, attacking back and forth. When the three minotaurs fell to the ground, strongest left fist was still at full health. He did not need the five seconds of preparation time provided after the completion of each floor. He smiled and looked at the corpses on the ground, thinking to himself, that God Slayer should still be fighting these minotaurs. I will definitely win this competition. In the next second, a system notification sounded in his ear. Congratulations to player God Slayer for successfully completing the fifth level of Tower of Challenges, setting a new record. Congratulations to player God Slayer for successfully completing the fifth level of Tower of Challenges, setting a new record. Congratulations to player God Slayer for successfully completing the fifth level of Tower of Challenges, setting a new record. Upon hearing these three notifications, Strongest Left Fist's face was filled with disbelief. This was impossible. He had already reached his limit in clearing the second level. Why was God Slayer faster than him? Even if his weapon was better than his, it was impossible for him to have such a speed. In an instant, Strongest Left Fist seemed to have thought of something and came to an understanding. So that was how it was. God Slayer must have completely given up on defense, which was why he could ascend to the fifth floor so quickly. Thinking of this, strongest left fist sneered. It seemed that this god slayer was just a superficial player and was not an expert at all. In the Tower of Challenges, HP was very important. If he wanted to pursue speed now, then his next battle would become very difficult. After adjusting his mentality, strongest left fist began the third level's challenge. On the other side, Mike had already reached the sixth level. The fifth level just now was a difficult hurdle for Mike in his previous life. The five goblin bombers threw bombs indiscriminately and they made the previous Mike miserable. However, this time, Mike directly took out the gun of Meredith. Dot bang 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 bang. Five shots ended the battle. Easy, pleasant, and simple. The next second, two humanoid monsters appeared in front of Mike. They looked no different from players. Even their moves were the same as players. Their names were Sulk and Shur. One was a gunman, and the other was a swordsman. Of course, these two people were not players. They were also monsters. This level was very obvious. 
It was a PK between players to pass the level. Sulk raised the sword in his hand and his eyes revealed an ominous glint. Sure, on the other hand, was casually wiping the pistol in his hand. From anyone's point of view, these two guys looked like experts. It was obvious that they were not easy to deal with. However, Mike's heart did not waver. He raised his gun and pulled the trigger. Bang bang. Instant kill. Following that, another five seconds of preparation time was provided. These five seconds of preparation time was originally reserved for players to cast buffs or use some potions that they had obtained from the Tower of Challenges. However, to Mike, these five seconds seemed like an eternity. He did not even need five seconds to fight monsters. The seventh level. Five monsters. Bang 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 bang. Instant kill. The eighth level. Six monsters. Bang 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 bang. Instant kill. Instant kill. Instant kill. Instant kill. At every level, Mike would instantly kill all the monsters. At this time, Strongest Left Fist had just reached the fourth level. He estimated in his heart that God Slayer should be low on HP by now. He should have slowed down the speed of killing monsters. In other words, it was his, Strongest Left Fist's turn to catch up. Strongest Left Fist's lips curled up slightly, revealing a confident smile. In the next second, three notifications sounded. Congratulations to player God Slayer for successfully completing the 10th level of the Tower of Challenges, setting a new record. Congratulations to player God Slayer for successfully completing the 10th level of the Tower of Challenges, setting a new record. Congratulations to player God Slayer for successfully completing the 10th level of the Tower of Challenges, setting a new record.